Hi, it's Tim from Enmore Audio here, and I'm gonna talk about the brand new TX6 from Teenage Engineering, which I think is part of their field series. Teenage Engineering is a company from Sweden, founded in 2005. They make synthesizers and drum machines and things like that, but it's small in size, but huge in sound. For example, this modular 400 synth that we built and made a video on earlier this year. I'll put a link down below to watch that. With the TX6, Teenage Engineering has made a really interesting product. It is essentially a portable mixer with an internal rechargeable battery that lasts for about eight hours. It has six stereo inputs, or you can make them 12 mono inputs if you use a Y-split cable like this. But it can also be an audio interface connected via USB-C. It can be a MIDI controller connected via Bluetooth. It has auxiliary and Q outputs, and it has a microphone input on the front via the Q output but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna to use it as a mixer. It has very usable inbuilt effects, basic internal drum sounds and a synth, a lot of options in the menu such as limiter, dark and light display mode, LED brightness, a tuner, and heaps of assignable controls for the things like inputs, outputs, and the pots. Each of the six tracks has a fader, a solo and mute button, and three knobs which they refer to as pots, and they can all be assignable after diving into the menu. There's a master pot with an encoder button on the top. There's effects one on and off buttons. There's a shift button. And there's an aux and a Q button down the bottom and a power switch on the side. How many of us have a two input audio interface? Well, the TX6 has essentially become the hub of my studio. I won't need to unplug or plug anything in. And believe it or not, it all fits in the palm of my hand. We're gonna send six instruments into the TX6. A beat from Ableton, this sequential Prophet Rev 2 synth, a Teenage Engineering Modular 400, a Teenage Engineering Street Fighter Edition pocket operator, a Moog iPhone synth, and an electric guitar. Here's a drawing of our setup. We're gonna have a play. We'll see you on the other side to go through the TX6 in more detail.
Here's the Teenage Engineering TX6. I'll start with the connections on the TX6. Across the top are six stereo inputs and a USB-C port for audio interface connection and battery charging. As mentioned earlier, these can be 12 mono inputs if you have a wire split cable. It's worth mentioning that the cables we are using are 3.5 TRS cables that came with the Modular 400. You can use these as audio cables or Teenage Engineering sells wire split audio cables with a thin profile so you can fit all six inputs in at once. On the side is the power switch. Across the bottom are the auxiliary and the Q buttons to bring those up on the display and the outputs for the auxiliary and the Q and the main output. Two things worth noting here is that the Q headphone output can be used as a microphone input and this awesome looking headphone adapter had us a little confused as we thought it was a knob. On the front panel, each of the six tracks has three pots, a fader and a mute or solo button. There's an encoder pot with a button. There's the effects one, the effects two on and off buttons and the shift button. The shift button is really useful as it acts as like an enter or return to home screen. Effects one has reverb, chorus and delay and effects two has a filter, bit crusher, distortion, tremolo, a freeze and tape. To get to the menu, press shift and the encoder button. The encoder button works as master volume when on the home screen. This is an extremely robust, good looking and highly usable piece of gear. And it made me think that it could be really great in a live performance setting. I was really dubious about this tiny mixer, but it was fantastic and easy to use. If you have any questions about the TX6, let me know in the comments as I've spent a lot of time with this unit. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.